Okay guys, I hope you have some tea or some coffee. Uh, so basically I had like pop up one of those Vice videos and it was like basically minorities debating colorism and skin bleaching and it was just kind of funny because like there are some people like in this debate who are trying to say that it wasn't really like a big deal and you should just love yourself and then there's like some people who are like more grounded in reality like yeah, this affects job opportunities and dating and just who you become, you know, like family with. And it was just, it was interesting to t see like just different takes on it. Um, and so then this popped up, uh, which is Kelly Rowland's first experience with colors. Um, I don't know who Tan France is. I have no idea who that is. Apparently this is like a guy. But um, yeah, we're going to watch it. It's going to be fun. I haven't seen it yet. So <laughs> let's go. Do you remember the first time you heard the thing that you are referring to as colorism? The first time I had um, a little boo friend, actually his grandmother compared me to the color of a paper bag and said that I was too chocolate and too dark chocolate for him and he couldn't date me. Oh my God. Y'all, I've definitely been told that. Um, I think I'm going to make, I don't know what I'm going to make the thumbnail on this. Um, it might be one of like my old pictures because I was just cleaning out some stuff. So I found some old photos of me and y'all, I have been told that um, the grandmother wasn't so confrontational. Like I feel so bad for such a young Kelly, you know, to have to do that. But no, I definitely was told that could not be dated because of the color of my skin. Um yeah by by the guy like yeah he just like let me know but the first time i ever really heard anything about it was um i want to say i was either 10 or younger and we were like out in bathing suits and some kids were like laying out like you were really young so we were just like mimicking laying out and then others weren't um and then i was told that i don't need to lay out because i'm already so dark and i guess that's when like i started to put two and two together that being dark was not a flex that that is not something that you want and that being lighter is better so that was like my first my earliest experience with it um and then of course later would come um the one guy telling me he couldn't date me um and there's other stuff we're not gonna get into that we're gonna listen to kelly and i said what the hell <laughs> i literally was like what does that mean and i came home and i talked to my mama t about it and she said it's a definition of colorism and i was like what is oh. you know what i mean it was like that moment okay it affected me in a way where i was just always uncertain of how i looked it started to define what beauty was to me. Okay. In the entertainment business, it manifested itself in, um... Okay, just to stop it there, I think, uh, you know, it's interesting. Obviously, her mom supported her because my mother was actually the first one who told me I did not need to tan, that I should be careful of getting too dark, so it's interesting um and i mean i'm sure that there's other people who have had parents you know tell them the same thing constant comparisons when it came to like my skin color i was hearing everything left and right well you know she's darker or she's the darkest one in the group or she's a oh that sucks i never i don't know i guess i didn't put two and two together for her really chocolate one. I would always hear that. Was there ever a time where you thought maybe I should try a bleaching cream? I never actually thought to myself I want to do a bleaching cream as much as it was oh, I just want to be Mariah Shade. Oh, I remember saying that I wanted to be lighter um, though technically the first bleaching cream I ever used was in um, well how old was I? I think I was 18 and y'all I knew nothing about it I bought one that was just a dud it did nothing for me <laughs> first off I should have known because it was something that you could buy at Walmart um and you guys know in the U.S. like over-the-counter lightning creams like they just don't work but I really thought it was gonna do something like I really thought
Because that was who I, you know, that was who I was yeah, looking up to. She was gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah. You're yeah. dancing around in fields with. Da, 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 da. I was like, life looks beautiful. We've all seen what's happened over the last couple of years with the Black Lives Matter movement. However, we don't really see much about colorism, but it's a massive problem within our communities. That is so funny. Yeah, no one really wants to talk about it. Um, and it's just funny how a lot of people are kind of in denial, like when this gets brought up, like, it'll always be thrown out like, oh, just love yourself. And it's kind of like with the body positivity movement. It's like, you're beautiful no matter what size. And it's just, um, I don't know, it's just like not grounded in reality. Um, while all different types of sizes are beautiful, there is a point to where even with the body positivity movie, <laughs> movie <laughs> movement that it's just it's not healthy. Um, but I don't know, I, I guess with colorism, we can't say that being too dark is unhealthy. Like that's not <laughs> that's a poor comparison. But I know one thing I just don't like is like when people like just try to like deny it and like they try to like brush it off like, hey, there's nothing you can do, just love yourself and I don't know. Instead of like actually addressing it. It's been the un the said unsaid. I think that it makes a lot of people uncomfortable. And I think that if we make ourselves aware of it, then we can actually move on. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> That was really quick. Um, but yeah, oh gosh, there's another video on the racial hierarchy. Ooh, who's really at the bottom? That's interesting. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm going to leave that here. Um, tell me what age were you when you, I guess, first like came head to head with colorism? Like what age like were you when you figured out what was preferred and what was not? I'm very curious to see. Okay y'all, so tell me why. I was trying to take a picture of this and I have the newest update on my iPhone and so it keeps like, you know, really dark faces. It keeps trying to like lighten up my picture, which if you look like, I mean, the pale, which is pink, it's the perfect color. The Barbie, obviously you can tell her color, her hair. Um, you know, that's like, you know, that's, that's my color. Um, and it's like so funny, like, look how much lighter it is. I was like, I can't use this. So thankfully, um, I'm hoping once I turn off this video, it doesn't like try to edit it. But yeah, um, Apple has built in now where it will lighten your pictures. And, um, ugh, <laughs> like, I just wanted to like to show you guys like some baby pictures and stuff like that. Um, anyways, yeah, what an issue. So as you can see, that picture compared to me now is just insane. <laughs> it's insane. Um, if you guys are interested in like any of the topicals and stuff I'm using, um, I do have that stuff on my Patreon.